All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Crunkus System mod, which is being made by forum user Mr. Chumley. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a fun new little planet pack that adds some planets and moons, which, well, specifically one planet and five moons, but hey, they're all rather quite lovely. Though, a bit of an oddity for my channel, as typically whenever I look at planet packs, I tend to prefer those that add entirely new star systems far away, and I just generally don't really care much for planet packs that add planets to our existing system, as well been there, done that. But recently, when looking for some new planets to play with, I found this little pack and gotta say, I was quite pleased and have had a lot of fun with it. So let's go into the tracking station and have a look at what we do get. Now, the main crux of this mod is a big gas giant, but before we get there, as we tab through our system, we find a new little moon around Dres, which... It's called Spud, and I gotta admit, this little tiny moon makes me smile because it has a rainbow ring, and it's colorful, and that... <laughs> I don't know why, but every time I look at this planet, it, it just puts a smile on my face. It's so happy. And, well, you guys know me. I'm a sucker for a planetary ring, and this one being a rainbow, just... It's, it's weird and unique, and I like it for strange reasons. But, yes, it is a tiny... A neat little moon around the generally bland Drace that is nice and colorful and, as you can see, has uh, quite the jagged terrain. So even though it is small with little gravity and no atmosphere, it will be a bit of a challenge to land on, especially in the polar region. But uh, overall, I think a fun little moon. And who doesn't love the name Spud? It's just, it's just nice. Now, immediately, we tab to the next planet in the star system, and our new planet, Crunkus, which is just gorgeous and has the rest of the moons in this pack. Like I said, it's kind of a small little planet pack, but a fun one. Now again, you know me, I love planetary rings and look at just how massive this thing is and Crunkus itself is, well, as it says right there in the info, humongous and just beautifully violet colored. It is quite cool and uh, yeah, be a fun planet to put some satellites around to get some beautiful shots of those rings. Now, of course, it has a couple of moons here, the first of which is uh, Apa. Is that how you say that? Apa? I don't know. But it, of course, does travel through the ring here, which is quite nice. So it'd be fun to land something on the pole to get just a beautiful, gorgeous view of this little system. And overall, the planet itself, or well, moon rather, is quite nice. I like the color on it, the odd little just purple spot and line. I'm... Not entirely sure why it has just that, but that is kind of unique and interesting to me. And overall, just a fun little moon. Now, the next one we have is Cursex, which, as you can see, is a, you know, nice terrestrial planet with oceans and continents and land masses. And as you can see, I have a lander there because it's quite gorgeous to get the view of the rings from there. And uh, my personal favorite section of it is this. I don't know why. I just, I, I really like that... Uh, that little chain of islands there, quite cool looking. But overall, a nice little planet for you to land on and perhaps colonize with one very large continent and a number of smaller ones. All fun. This one up here, which I landed in, particularly uh, mountainous, which was interesting to actually successfully land, but hey, we did it. Now the next moon is Milo, which is your more sort of standard dead-ish moon, and it is a large monotone moon, as it does say right here, and uh, yeah, quite a nice little place, though. It is, you know, moon-ish. Reminds me of our own. And then finally, we have School, which is the furthest of the moons. And of course, the last one, it is, as it says here, a dusty snowball, which uh, is quite cool. So I guess it's, you know, that's the ice and that's the 
dust, quote unquote. I'm not entirely sure, but hey, nice coloration. I actually quite like the look of this thing. And it's got some good terrain here and there. So you got lowlands and highlands, etc., for you to, you know, have a little bit more fun with your landings. And overall, just a, just a nice little spotted thing. Quite nice. Now, a fun bit for all of these planets is that it is fully made into the career system. So there are custom biomes on all of these things with custom science experiments. So you have, you know, a lot of fun new opportunities with this planet and its various moons. But let's actually take a look at uh, the view, my personal favorite view from that continent right there. And uh, yeah, there we go. And kind of round it up for today. Kind of a short video, but hey, not much to talk about when you do have one planet and four moons, no matter how good it is. But yes, we are in a very, oh boy, very mountainous region right here. As you can see, almost 3,000 meters up in the air. And why I landed here is because of this gorgeous view. Oh, look at that. That is why I love planet mods. They just add gorgeous views like that, which make me just happy to be playing the game. You land here, do some experiments, and then just enjoy the view. It is that wonderful. But yes, that is the Crunkus uh, Copernicus Planet Pack mod. It is, I think, a fun addition to the game, which uh, I think any one of you would enjoy out there. So if you would like to check it out for yourself, which I would definitely suggest you go and do. You can take a look at the link in the description as per usual, but that is going to be it for today. I hope you have enjoyed, and of course that you do come back for the next episode when hopefully we'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one!